ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Horseman Channel today. Um, we got a lot to talk about. So, that being said, uh, this is this video is going to be um, really regarding what supercharger your boy buys next, really. Um, it's nothing against the four liter Whipple. It's just with my history and I feel like that blower really demands a lot more motor and needs more motor to spin it up and, and do those things. Um, so I'm kind of at the point now where I think it's time for us to move on to something else. So before we get into this video, please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And uh, let's get into this, guys. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes, taking shots, getting breaks, feeling lost, feeling Alright, so as you can tell, first of all, the car be dusty as all get out. I mean, she, she dirty, boys and girls. She dirty. Anyways, um, as y'all know, a while back, well, it's kind of hard because uh, there's no light under the under the hood here, but we took off the blower a few uh, a couple weeks ago. I've been busy, um, but I've been I've been in touch with Whipple and uh, emailing back and forth on what we're gonna do. So obviously, you know, we're gonna be sending it out. I've got it over here. Uh, by the time you see this video, um, which uh, tomorrow is when I'm actually box. I finally got a box. That was half the battle, guys. Is finding a box for this beast. So found a box for it. Um, we're gonna get it all, I got all the stuff like separated into baggies and stuff, the pulleys, just a different accessory. Um, the pulley, sorry, um, the hose attachments, the quick attaches and all that stuff. So that's what Whipple wanted. So we had to make sure we got, got that knocked out, but we finally got a box for it right there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this beast. We're gonna get her nice and sent out. So a part of like, how do I don't know how to describe this really, but like, this blower has been an. It, first of all, I, I feel like Whipple makes an amazing blower. They they really do. They're one of the best out there, if if not the best. Um, I'm more leaning towards what I'm gonna do uh, based on my application of of the car. The car has got right now. Um, uh, it's basically you know it's it's a stock motor, stock bottom end. It does have NSR cams in it, um, but other than that, I mean. She's on the 85, the cams, and, you know, full bolt-on headers and, uh, you know, f uh, free-flowing exhaust. So, that being said, this this Whipple here has just been a little too much for the car, in my opinion. I think it kind of messes up the power band because this, this thing, it wants to be spun, man. Like, you know, in my opinion, this is needing, like, a built motor and, you know, she, she, it needs a lot to, to really see the potential of what this thing can do. So, that being said, um, right now, my, what I'm kind of, like, the two blowers I'm going between, you know what, I'm on, before I even say anything, hold on. All right, so, the two, the two blowers that I've kind of been going back and forth on um, is the 5th Gen 3.0 Whipple, or... VMP's uh, uh, Gen 3R blower. That's that's where I'm at right now. It's it, I've narrowed it down to those two. So I'm going to ask the audience, you know, ask all of you guys out there. I want to get your input, what your thoughts are. I've done a bunch of research on SVT forums and everything. From what I'm seeing, the VMP Gen 3R uh, with the, with the uh, 2.65 rotor pack is a great blower, uh, mostly for the power band of these cars, stock engine and everything. Cause guys, I'm I'm around 800 horse. I'm, you know, might tickle 820 or something like that. But these motors, as you know, stock, you know, the safe limits are around 850. 
well, I kind of want to stay below that just to be conservative and I don't got the funds to rebuild a Trinity engine, so I just don't have that. Um, but like I said, this blower has been awesome. It is an awesome blower, um, but I think it's just, it, it demands a built motor, demands a lot more. So at this point, it's either the 3.0, I go down to the 3.0, which I've done some, uh, some digging and investigating with that as well. And it really just seems like that blower was built with the kind of the coyote in mind of like high revving, you know, it sees a lot of good power up top. Um, it's a great efficient blower, you know, and I'm still kind of torn, but I'll be honest with you guys. At this point, I'm kind of leaning towards um, the VMP Gen 3R just for the power band sake. Um, I think that it would, you know, I think it would match what this car's combination is right now more and suit it better than, than like a 3.0 Whipple. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this because that's what it comes down to. Pros is that the VMP is going to hit harder down low. Um, I think it's going to have a better power band for the quarter mile. That's just my thoughts. Um, I could be wrong, guys. That's why I'm, you know, by all means, if you guys know things I don't know about these two blowers, feel free to tell me. Please let me know. Um, also, I might get a little bit of wine back. You know, I haven't had, as long as I've had this car, I've never heard any wine because this thing's, you know, barely turning. And, you know, it, and I know, guys, wine should be the least of my concerns. But, hey, sounds give us smiles, too. So, having a little bit of wine, even though it's a sign of a, uh, of uh, restriction or you know not being so efficient I get all that but I still miss the wine and I feel like the Gen 3R might give me a little bit um, depends on how much boost I'm throwing at it but I just feel like the the pros of going to that blower I feel like it's less rotational mass on the crank this thing's a hoss um, uh, well e either one whether I go to the 3.0 or you know the VMP Gen 3R it's gonna be less rotational mass uh, on that crank pulley um, I just think that the, they're both going to be should be more efficient. This thing is this thing is ten years old, guys. It's it's a different type of uh, you know it's a four liter Whipple. It's a beast, but the technology is not as fit, as efficient as some of these newer, smaller blowers. It's just a fact. So that's kind of where I'm at. I want to know what you guys honestly think. So all right, guys. Um, like I was saying, um, I'm looking to do the move here relatively soon, um, probably within a month or so. Um, but my plans are to get this one all fixed up, uh, back, sent back to me, um, and then I'll probably go ahead and sell this and go from there. So I am looking to the audience for you guys to help me when it comes to uh, what blower I should go with next, whether it's VMP, Gen 3R, or the 5th uh, Gen 3.0 Whipple. Can't really go wrong with either, but like I said, there's a lot of pros and cons. Um, I think that the, the pros for the Whipple would be that you know later on if I do a built motor, you know, the Whipple is going to carry me on through a long time. Um, not that the Gen 3 R can't, I mean, because I've heard of, you know, 11, 1200 horse with those blowers as well. So um, there's just a lot of pros and cons to both. But I personally just feel, and you guys can help me out, please do, um, that the uh, VMP Gen 3 R really is just a really good blower um, for this combination of a car. Um, it hits down low, you know, it gives you all the fun noises. Um, and it's just a good combination for these cars, uh, and they're really efficient for what I've what I've been told. So, by all means, guys, VMP versus Whipple. You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But uh, that's that's where I'm at. Like I said, I'll get this sent out tomorrow, um, and we should be hearing back from them. Get get the show on the road here. Oh, not to mention also, I'll probably having to get a fuel system and the supporting mods now because now I have a different tuner, and I'll probably get a fuel system, the new blower. Um, what else? Uh, might get a different clutch in here, RXT McLeod versus the spec. A whole bunch of things are on the horizon, but you know, that's about to be winter, so it's a, that's a good thing. So we can do a lot of this stuff during the winter. So by all means, guys, please let me know your thoughts of VMP Gen 3R versus the Whipple 5th Gen 3.0. Um, and we'll go from there. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And as always, what's in your staples? Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. 
what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The 